as well because I've got to be in shot. You can move a little bit. Right, cool. Yeah. Well, I feel a bit of a fraud, I have to be honest, following those three amazing talks, um, which I think are really inspiring. Um, so hopefully my little scamper through uh, what Barnsley's been up to for the last couple of years will be informative and give you a flavour of, of what's possible, I think, at, at perhaps town level rather than city level. Um, things can often feel difficult at city level, but trust me, it's a lot easier working in a city than it can be working in a town because you have a real sort of a scale that you can work with. So my name is Tracy Johnson and I run the Digital Media Centre in Barnsley, which is part of the Barnsley Council's Enterprise in Barnsley Business Support Programme. You'll be tested on all of this later, so make notes. And over the last three and a half years, we've been on something of a journey that we've um, very snappily titled Call to Code, trying to really think about what Barnsley can be in the future rather than focusing on what we've been in the past, which if you're not familiar with Barnsley, is pretty much a coal mining town. So where the heck is Barnsley anyway? Hands up if you've been to Barnsley. Keep your hand up if you'll go back to Barnsley. That's worrying, there was a couple went down there. <laughs> Brilliant, so we kind of know where we are, but we're in this wonderful sandwich between Sheffield and Leeds, um, with a little bit of a side order of Manchester over there that we don't talk about too much. Um, and why would Barnsley be bothered about all this digital stuff anyway? Well, it's been a bit of a journey of, of a decade or more, really. As I say, Barnsley has to kind of rebalance its economy. We have a lot of jobs, but we have very low-skilled and low-wage jobs. And what the decision was many years ago was that we needed to find ways of, of improving both the skill level and the income level of some of the jobs that we have. So there's a real focus on looking at the knowledge economy, um, creative and digital, at that point, and I've been kind of involved for around a decade or so. Um, and why digital right now is we've managed to build a small embryonic reputation um, around the digital media centre, our digital hub. We want to build on that. We think there's a real opportunity to drive um, growth in other industries. Um, Barnsley has a lot of manufacturing, engineering, logistics kind of companies. Um, it's a volume of jobs, but perhaps not, not quality of jobs at times. But with digital tech innovation, there's ways of making sure those businesses <coughs> remain viable, that they continue to be employers and that we perhaps can help them to create jobs of the future. And this, thing, this last one is really the most important thing for me, that we want to make a better Barnsley for everybody that's there. It isn't just about business, it isn't just about running a big building, it's about the people that live in Barnsley and making their lives better, better quality, better levels of income and better opportunities for them. So what have we been doing so far? Well, I have to say it's been something of a whirlwind of the last sort of three and a half years. Um, we've, we've taken a very agile approach, which I think is quite unusual for a local authority. Um, local authorities, by our nature, we don't do change all that easily. There's a few nodding heads. Some people have clearly experienced it, probably on both sides of the, of the coin, really. Um, and what we've done through our business support in particular is to think about this impact of digitalisation across industry, basically. And we ran through things called Connected Business, which were really about introducing businesses to the concept of digitalisation. We've built on that more latterly with the help of the wonderful Kerry Batchelder over there. We've piloted programmes such as Connected Healthcare and Connected Manufacture, which have been about really trying to help move those companies towards a level of change, acknowledging that it's not just about the technology, it's about the people and it's about their understanding of the technology. We've also led a programme called Tech Town, um, which has been a, a three-year programme in partnership with ten other cities across Europe, because sometimes actually it's easier to work with people many, many miles away than it can be to try and collaborate on more local levels. Um, and that's been a, a real revelation for us of, of understanding common problems. All the cities we worked with, from Dubrovnik in Croatia, through to San Sebastian in Spain, and the suburbs around Copenhagen, all want to stimulate growth in the digital sector, more digital jobs, more digital businesses. So we've worked together as a partnership and tried to understand what are the components that cities need to be able to do this. What does an ecosystem look like and actually what's the role for the city in developing technology-led ecosystems as well. And our, our sort of summary of that is on one hand it can just be get out of the bloody way because you're a nuisance and on the other hand it can be really as an enabler of different things happening in different ways and also as a real market. Through Tech Town as well, we've had a local group, which has, has been a great way of bringing together all of our stakeholders 
from education, from business, from the, the local authority as well. And um, I'm going to keep talking about Kerry, even though she's hiding behind there, but Kerry's helped us to facilitate that. And that's been probably the one of the biggest tipping points that we've had is that bringing together of people that, that quite frankly give a shit about all of this and helping them to work through some of our challenges with us and having them contribute to what we want to do in Barnsley in the future so that it's not the council standing there saying we must have a digital future, it's actually a common goal that we're all signed up to. So our, our action plan as a result of that project is to develop a digital campus and that's something we're on with right now. We've got some whizzy fly-throughs as part of a tender process, so it's about buildings but more importantly it's about what goes on in them as well. This year um, we held the first IoT Tribe Accelerator in Barnsley which is an accelerator for Internet of Things early stage companies, non-equity based. Um, that again has been another tipping point for us because we had nine companies come to Barnsley who in a lot of cases had no prior knowledge of Barnsley, five of them were from overseas. Um, so we had a range of people from Colombia and Poland and Spain and Wigan and Lincoln and all those glamorous places in between come and join us in Barnsley to develop their businesses and that's I'm so pleased to say going to be an ongoing part of what we do as Barnsley. The council has committed a six-figure sum to continue in that relationship and that is, is really something significant for a smaller place to, to have a programme like that. We're leading, I think leading loosely a digital manufacturing agenda. We're really keen to keep pushing this forward. And we piloted connected manufacturing about a year and a half ago um, with Kerry, and it really helped to, I suppose, uncover some of the problems we've got around adoption and digitalization in the wider industrial base as well. In that you could run lots of great events, but can you what could get the bloody manufacturers to come along? Um, and, and really sort of highlighted some of the problems we've got instigating change. Well, the third tipping point that we've had as well is, is how internally as a local authority a light bulb's been switched on, um, probably using the voice activated system, but um, Skunk Works has been set up through the council, we've had a bit of a change in leadership within our IT services and suddenly we've got a team of, of engineers who are given permission a couple of times a month to get together in a room, there's no objectives for them other than to solve some problems and they're doing that using IoT which is massive and that, that's been driven by the fact we've had this sort of groundswell of, of support for them and the knowledge that's come from having the IoT tribe companies here. We've got a local maker group called, called Barnsley IO which some people might have been to or been involved with. <coughs> Excuse me. And we've got a connected lab which Victor is, is setting up with us as well at the moment. It's a room with a 3D printer and, and Victor and some bits and bobs of kit. It's nothing massively special apart from Victor. Um, but it's, it's a starting point, it's somewhere, and what we've done is given that space to Skunk Works, given that space to Barnsley I.O. to start using ahead of our IoT tribe companies joining us next year. So what do we do next? Well, the action plan that we developed through Tech Town, this idea of something that's collaborative, that's something that we're going to build on, something that we're going to do. And we acknowledge there's some real tricky areas in that. We need to do much more around education, Bringing it together with business, we need a better skills pipeline. We know there's, there's endemic challenges in the, in the education system. But what's clear from our group is that we know we need more places and spaces for the digital community too. And particularly for experimentation, this agile, iterative mindset is something we've got to keep protected. We really need an innovative approach to what we do. So we're looking to do more cross-sector collaborations. We're building, we're not building, we're buying another building to create DMC grow on space and we're trying to keep that agility at the heart of it all. Digital campus, um, these are the kind of words if you like, but the concept is that it's not just about a physical space, it's about hard and soft infrastructure. We can build buildings, everybody builds buildings and Arab builds lovely buildings, um, but we, it's what goes on in them that really makes a difference and that's what we're trying to do differently. So we're trying to make sure there's a connectivity, a human connectivity across everything that we do. Um, a key part of this has been that we're building a new library, for example, in the town centre. The town centre's had a big redevelopment. Come, to, come back to Barnsley if you've been before, come for the first time if you've never been. The new markets that are there, the new library that's been built, are a, a big asset for us, but we need to drive more people through them. And actually, the library will have a maker space that'll be really entry level, 
But through the work we've done through Tech Town, we got them some funding to do some engineer-led workshops, which again is a great way to just get that engineering community in there. So we're aiming to have a real, really smart digital campus for digital citizens, and that's kind of where the link is with this idea of IoT for citizens for me, is the <coughs> place that we build can't be just building, it's got to be about what's in there. For businesses, we've got to be able to create more high-skilled digital jobs, and we've got to make sure there's people to fill them. Um, and that's kind of a little bit more stuff about what we do. We're not doing this alone. There is a lot of partners involved. That's just a sample of them. I have to say the team at Sheffield Digital are the most supportive people on the planet and have contributed wonderfully to helping us build our community. And also University of Sheffield, AMRC, Sheffield Hallam, Digital Catapult. Our network is one of our most powerful assets, I think. So, so that's something that we continue to draw on. And as it were a kind of data-led meetup tonight, I thought I'd wrap up with a bit of a, a, a pie chart to measure how a success, and a very literal pie chart in this instance. It's all well and good talking about all these things, but I'm constantly challenged on well, what impact have we had. Back in 2015, when we first took over the DMC uh, from an external provider, we thought the pain of actually trying to set up as a council running a building like that was quite serious for our, cl our clients, so we threw a Christmas lunch in true Yorkshire-style pies and peas, and we catered for 100 people. This year, we're catering for 240, which just goes to show how big the DMC's grown, not just within the building, but the community as well. And that, for me, is probably the best pie chart I've ever created. And that's it from me, so thank you.